Welcome to sunny Delhi. Here in Delhi, things come in interesting flavors. For instance, the toothpaste comes in clove. Is that Christmas ham flavored? As well as salt. Is that Christmas ham? No, no, I'm pretty sure that's my soul dime. Bathrooms here have these little buckets that stack inside each other. I haven't quite figured out how to use those yet. Now when I said it's sunny here, I meant it. During the day, it gets over 117 degrees. Oh. I quickly discover that this is incompatible with my personality. When I get to a new place, I like to explore. And I like to do it on foot. Ooh, dogs! Whoa! Pigs! Pigs everywhere! Man, I'm getting tired. Eh, just the jet lag. I'll work through this. Oh, I think I got food poisoning. Now I know what the buckets are for! I need to find somewhere cold. Like a cafe with air conditioning. They have cold drinks, too. Let's hunt online to figure out why I feel so crappy. Oh! Turns out I have heat stroke. So I was at a commission for a couple weeks, trying to get myself back together. Another interesting thing about Indian culture, they don't have voicemail. If someone calls, you're expected to answer. And this carries over to doors as well. If someone comes by and knocks on your door, they will keep trying until you answer. I was taking a shower, and they knocked, and knocked, and knocked. Normally, eh, they'd get fed up and leave. Not here. What? And they asked if I wanted to buy something. No. No, I don't. Overall, though, I can't really complain. Except for the power cuts. They're kind of nice when I'm sitting on the balcony, looking out over the city, and you can see individual little plots go dark and turn back on. The bad part is when the power goes out where you are. For hours. During the middle of the day. Where it's 117 degrees. The instant the power goes off, the room you're in turns immediately into an oven. And it gets hotter by the second. Your brain shuts down, your body involuntarily starts looking for anything cold. There comes a point where you need to make a decision. Do you stay where you are and hope the electricity comes back on soon? Or do you seek some place that has guaranteed air conditioning so you can cool off? Personally, I came home. At least I have salty toothpaste.